What are you doing to secure your spot as being part of the one third? If you don't have fear of that equation, then something's wrong with you. If you don't have fear of that one equation, trying to be part of that first resurrection, you know, you hear everybody say, well, you know, all Israel is going to be saved. But who want to die and come back versus want to go there on the first ship? Those who want to die and come back, raise your hand. But all Israel is going to be saved, right? You don't see nobody jumping in line to be what? Part of that, 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 that second coming, right? Everybody wanted to be on that first ship. But do your fear reflect that? Because your fear will reflect the desperation that you have in what, upholding what the Most High requires for you to uphold. Every man, woman, and child have an obligation to the Most High. And you're indebted to your Howard shot. But are you paying off this debt or are you giving a <coughs> deferment? Tell them, hey, come back, come back next week. Have you been paying off your debt? Your service, your tithing, your joining together, your doing of the law. What you been doing to pay off your debt? See, everybody got to take a look at that. Passover is coming up real soon. Are you going to go into Passover with a lump? With that, with, 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 with that lump in your eye? Or are you going to resurrect? Come clean with the most eye. Come clean with yourself. Or are you going to be a hypocrite? See, these are the fears of the most high that those that truly fear the most high will start to worry about. You want to be that one person in the Passover without a garment on? You know what that garment is, right? I ain't talking about that, 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 that physical garment. I'm talking about that spiritual garment. Only the Father can see. How many of you got on your spiritual garment today? Don't answer me, answer him. Read on. Thou didst cause judgment to be heard from heaven. And he caused judgment to be heard from heaven. Can you picture that? Minutes before the earthquake, minutes before the tsunami, most I call those angels and they tuck off. Whew, flying down from heaven to cause that to happen. Preventing them from doing the things that they're supposed to do. That's scary, man. That's what fear the most eyes is about. You don't understand. But if it's in your cards, the most I would deliver you. You had people that was trapped for eight days. Freezing temperature. Snow and radiation. And the most I still granted them to live. You got some that got swept away as soon as it happened. Bam, gone. Over with. Done. Only the most I have the power over life and what? Death. Death. Nobody else. Just that alone should put fear in your heart. Right. Then he can call the angels and tell them, boom, bring me back that breath. It's Marx. Because he said, I breathed into you, and you became a what? A living soul. So if he takes that breath from you, you're going to return back to what? Back to the earth. From which you came from. That alone should spark fear. But see, we play games with the most high. We're walking around with this falsehood fear we got in us that we only show that fear when we're around men. So you can't impress the Most High with such childish games. You can impress men, but the Most High, just like he told that brother that came to the Passover without that garment on, right. he told the angel to seize him, bound him, and do what? Toss him to utter darkness. 
<laughs> I hope y'all getting this. Where we at? You still in the eighth verse? Finish the eighth verse. The earth fed and was still. So the earth feared and was still. That happened and it's going to happen again. Please ask us in the, in, the, in the Bible, chapter 3, verse 14. See, the earth feared and stood still. So that's what you have in now. People are standing around wondering. See, the powers that be knows what's going on. That's why they're trying to distract you with these wars and rumors of wars. Right. To take your mind off of what the Most High is doing. To take the media off what the Most High is doing by generating these man-made wars. But you're supposed to be holding fast to what the Most High is giving you. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, third chapter and the 14th verse. Go ahead. I know that what's I know that whatsoever Yahweh do it, it shall be forever. Right. So whatever the Most High does, it's forever. It ain't no rebuilding after the Most High destroys something. Even though they're gonna try to rebuild, try to restore, it ain't no rebuilding after the Most High destroys something. And when the Most High speaks, it is done. Read it again. I know that whatsoever Yahweh doeth, it shall be forever. Read. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. See, nothing can be put to it or taken away from it. When you understand that the Most High is behind these things that are happening, you can't take no more from it than you can add to it. And trust me, there's going to be a lot of days like what you've seen in Japan. There's going to be a lot of days of what you've seen in Haiti, what you've seen in New Orleans. All over the earth, you're going to start to see this. <clears throat> because the Mosab gave a promise, I will visit the earth in which I may. And these visitations are going to be rapid. And that's what's happening now. So the Most High is making house calls. VA through his angels. Let's pray that he don't knock at your door. Because the destruction of the Most High, big and small. Read on. And the Most High doeth it that men should fear before him. Say what? And the Most High doeth it that men should fear before him. So the Most High do these things so that you can fear him. So that you don't forget the power that made you. This has been happening throughout our history. The only thing that Israel understands is death. During the time of Moses. Wasn't that an earthquake that opened up the earth and swallowed what? Almost 5,000 men? That was an earthquake. He said, today I put before you life and death. Choose one. That's the only thing Israel understand. Death. See, now the death is happening abroad. So there's none effect to us. We okay. Now when 9-11 happened, right. you had people flooding right. the temples, trying to find what? Reasoning behind the reason. Right. Everybody want to get close to the most high. But because it's happening in abroad, everyone thinks they're safe. You just don't understand what the most high had already put out there to be transferred into a physical form. Read. 15th verse. That which have been is now. See, that which has been is now. The most I ain't just not start opening up the earth and swallowing people. He ain't just not started floods. They're giving them different names now. Tsunami. Tidal wave. This 
This ain't something new to the Most High. He been doing this. So it says what? Read that last precept. That which have been is now. Go ahead. And that which is to be have already been. He said that which shall be has already been. So the Mosai is taking things back to the way it used to be. 